protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide. We may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead in transgressions and uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him, having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross. The word of the Lord. taken from our passage, and the word 
is friendship. Friendship is one of the greatest gifts that life has to offer. What are the qualities of a good friend? What makes for a lasting friendship? Friendship, like all relationships, take work. Friendship is more than just spending time with some people with whom we share things in common. I think true friendship is rooted in a deep desire to know another person and to be known by that person as well. The number of friends we have is not important. It is the quality of the friendships we have that really matters. For what it is worth, I consider the following traits to be essential in the measure of a good friend and quite necessary for a lasting and solid friendship. One, accepting a person for who they are and not trying to mold them into what we think they should be. Two, appropriately challenging a friend, especially when their choices and actions are leading them down the wrong path. Three, realizing that friends, like everyone else, are not perfect. Friends make mistakes. Knowing when to forgive and when to ask for forgiveness is crucial to the welfare of a good friendship. Four, the gift of presence in good times and bad, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Giving someone our time is the mark of a good friend. Five, no unrealistic expectations. Sometimes we can go for a long period of time without talking to a friend. That does not necessarily signify anything. But the ability to pick up where we left off is a trait of a solid relationship. And six, to be trustworthy is essential to the growth of a friendship. I have been blessed to have known two such friends in my life, my mom and my dad. I am sure that each of us has some idea of what we are looking for in a friend. But how many of us ever stop to ask ourselves, how good of a friend am I? This weekend, and hopefully always, let us give thanks for the friends we have in our lives. Regardless of whether that friend is a spouse, parent, brother, sister, family relative, classmate, co-worker, or whomever. Friendship is a great gift from God, and as all gifts, it should be cherished, protected, and valued.
Jesus taught us how to pray, and so we come in faith, asking his Father for our daily needs. Then the church deepen its persistence in prayer and witness for those forgotten by the rest of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That every nation seek peace, defend life, and practice mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all affected by natural disasters receive grace and assistance to rebuild their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather to share this Eucharist remember those not present, including the sick and the homebound. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died, including Richard A. Hudna, share the Lord's victory over death and live forever in the peace of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions listed in our parish book of prayer and for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts.